In this video, you will learn how to navigate the features provided in the Data Analytics screen. To follow along, ensure that you've configured the basic prerequisites. Analytics screens provide information that allow you to monitor all your managed Big IP systems at once. You can find these screens throughout the UI. While each screen provides data specific to a module, component, or system object. All of these screens show the same basic components and layout, which include time and refresh settings, charts, dimensions, and events. All of these areas provide a number of features that allow you to customize and fine-tune the data you want to inspect. Some screens like the one we see here, have a few other features. They include these dashlets, or current highlights of the most recently collected data. For example, here, we can see information about the top countries of origin that tried to access these applications. For HTTP transaction data, you also have traffic capturing, which will be covered in a separate video. In this example, we can see HTTP traffic data over the past hour from one Big IP system with four application services and requesting access to 15 different URLs. When we look at the charts, we can see that there isn't too much variation over the past hour. What we can see is that one or more applications are under a denial of service or DOS attack, but these attacks are blocked by DOS protection. We can also see that the server latency appears to be at a steady high. Let's try to troubleshoot this traffic scenario. First, we can adjust the time settings. Then, we can enable events. We can see there are security and system type events with various levels of severity. Let's filter out some of these non-critical events. Now we can zoom in and explore the most recent events. To do that, click the numbered icons in the timeline and view each event's details below the chart. It appears that two application services are under attack we can see if this is affecting the server latency using dimensions. First, customize the columns displayed in the dimension by filtering out unnecessary metrics. Now we can see that even with the attacks on the first two applications, we can see that the DOS HTTP app 1 and 2 have much higher server latency. Select these rows to filter chart and other dimension data, and let's compare the two in a chart over time. With the chart, we can see one application service is maintaining a higher average latency, so let's remove the other filter. High latency may be from the application's URLs. As suspected, one URL has a much higher server latency. This is what affected the latency after all. We can select this URL to add another filter over the chart and dimension data and generate a report. Then reset the screen and clear the filters to continue monitoring. For more information about using analytics, see the links in the description below. 